Hey everybody, welcome to Annie's Place. Uh, Saturday we had our, let's see, a Croptoberfest. So it's a scrapbook deal. We get a bunch of friends together. Uh, Andy is a friend of mine and she is a Creative Memory uh, distributor. So she uh, does these twice a year. It's pretty cool. And we go to a big area, whether it could be a church, VFW, whatever. And then she rents that and then we all scrap away. It is so much fun. So I'm going to show you. I just got a few things. Uh, let me see. Let's start with the Hocus Pocus. Uh, this is their new Halloween line. So this is a paper. Uh, I started using it. So it, it still has all this stuff in it. But um, So you, like here, there's a page, page loose. Side. How cute. What I didn't realize is all these cut out. See? and cut that out and use this stuff on the cover. Here's the next page. And this page too. I didn't know that. So that was really neat. I was excited to see that. Oh, there's one more. Alright. Some tags. Look at this paper. It is so cute. That's the other side of it. Spooky spiders. That's like the lace, the gothic. And that's the black and white version. It's very neat. And here we have the prisms. So that's the colored, colored side. The chandelier. Spider webs. Spiders. Ravens. All different stuff. And this is the yellow version. It's the same thing. Nope, doesn't have the little animals and chandelier on it. And here's the spiders. And they they look like they're almost music notes, but there's actually spiders and then a lace pattern. And then there's the yellow version. And you get, I think, like four sheets per, per pattern, so that's pretty cool. And that's the diamond pattern, and then there's spiders and ravens amongst the diamond pattern and there's the tan version of it. Pretty cool. Some more spiders. And a lighter version. And then this one is just, it says like spooky uh, and it seems like there's um, potion bottles. There's a web in here. Excuse me. So it's like, <coughs> excuse me, uh, all different like uh, graffiti, not graffiti, um, drawings all over. Uh, it says things or spiders, but it's all all different stuff. So that's a very fun pattern. And here's the blue version of it. And this is a diamond pattern. That was kind of neat. I did some mummy stamps, so I'm going to use some of this because that's kind of Egyptian looking, or could be. So let's see. What have I used? We can count how many pages. There's four. Okay. Because I haven't used any of this stuff yet. One, two, three, four. Yep, so there's four of each sheet. So that is pretty cool. I really like this paper, and this is the 6x6 six six size. And then, let's see. This is the Hocus Pocus layered stickers. So I'm gonna, uh, I make tags and stuff, so I'll use that on there probably. Cute, cute, cute. Oops. I just love this one. Where is it? Here. Isn't that cool? This raven? Oh, Jeepers Creepers? Well, I guess I just like them all. <laughs> And the other stickers I got were happy birthday stickers. Let me take them out of the thing. This is classic celebration. These are such nice stickers and they're 
not your thin ones. They're not cardboard, but they're a thicker paper. And they're always so brightly colored, so I really like I like them stickers a lot. Alright, and the uh, last item I got, with the stickers out of the way here, is the border maker system. Uh, so I, I used this at the rubber stamp convention, and this came with the twinkle chain. Um, so I haven't opened this one yet. We can certainly can. Let's take a look. Let me take a look and see if you can see it all. Now this was a special they were running. So you get the border punch and this extra one. And this comes with, I think, oh, there it is right there with picket fence. That's the one that comes with the border set. Uh, and then this was a promo they were doing that if you bought this set, you got the twinkle chain this, this round as well. Put that back in there. Put this out. And this is what it is. So I'm not sure how to set this up yet. I have to read the directions. Because the one I used at the rubber stamp convention was already put together. Let's see. Can't be too hard. All right. Lift up the arm on the guide and flip the bottom tray out until it, cl it clicks in place. Ah. Uh, so then you'd slide the paper under the arm until it aligns with the edge of the tray. All right, let me grab a piece of paper. Let's just try this. Since we're here, about uh, let's use let's use a blue. Try it. Close the arm. Yep, that's what it's showing. And flip the tray back into place. Insert the cartridge into the border maker. Okay, let's use this twinkle chain. That's what that looks like. So I thought it'd be cute, like little snowflakes. Okay. Insert the cartridge into the border maker until it clicks into place, raising the lever. Okay, now the diagram shows these sticking out the back. Alright. Slide the edge of the paper into the slot of the border. Let's see. Slide the edge of the paper into the slot of the border maker and line up the notch on the lever with the notch on the guide arm. This will align the bottom grooves so the border maker fits into the guide. Okay. What grooves? I don't know. Okay, so the, this obviously needs to slide in because there's where a paper is going to go in. Must be grew here we go. There's the grooves. Alright. Gotta be smarter than the edge contraption. Okay. I got this. See? So there's a oops, sorry. A big notch and a little notch. Right here. And those fit right into these things. Like so. Oh man, I got this. But it doesn't kind of 
doing something wrong. This this piece is higher than this piece, so I'm not getting how you line that up. Something about this tray. Uh huh. Miss that tray. Oh, who knew? Okay. Seriously, I gotta be smarter than the contraption. Are you kidding me? The picture shows it just like this. Okay, here we go. It was just me. It ain't that hard. So the paper comes through. Like so. So what I'm doing is I'm going to push it in until I get... I'm going to line this up first. Just because I'm not used to using this. That might be easier for me. I'm going to lock my paper down. There we go. Oh yeah, this is easy. Okay. Just me. And I'm just lining it until it fits right into the... I'm pulling out just a little bit and then until it hits the next set of grooves. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's cute. Yep. That was easy. Okay. Let me grab a piece of white. Uh, I got a white piece of paper. I know I got white paper. That's super cute. That'll go good on cards. Oh, I see I jumped the track a little bit right there. Okay, that was really easy. Just took a moment to figure out. You gotta be smarter than the contraption. So that is my creative memory haul. Um, there's pumpkins in these cartridges. Well, that must be how to pop it back out. Yep. Okay, so there's a button right here. Push that, it releases the cartridge. like that. Easy. Easy, easy. Uh, there's pumpkins. There's uh, the fence that they showed you. Not sure what else. There's the fence. Um, there was hearts. I did see hearts. Can't remember what all else. I'll have to look in the book. So, I hope you enjoyed the Creative Memory Hall and take care. Thanks for watching Eyes Place. Bye-bye.